What's up guys? Welcome back to Diesel Creek. If this is your first time joining us, my name's Matt and we are out at the farm today and it is a beautiful, hot, sunny day. One of the, uh, the warmest days so far of the year. I think we're up in like 82 degrees right now and it is just beautiful. So it's a good day to play with the water, I think. And that's good because old Christine here, she needs a bath. Now, if you've been following the channel for any amount of time, you'll know that this is my 1950s, I think actually I determined that it was a 1962 Galleon 503 road grader. And currently I have it tore apart for its socially distant restoration. I know some people think that catchphrase is kind of funny, some people don't, but whatever. I'm running with it. It's ugly, it's crusty, it's rusty, but really this is a pretty solid tight grader for the age. Um, if you've been following since the beginning, you saw I pulled it out of a grove of trees. It was all grown up and everything. Got it running, pulled it up on the trailer, drug it home here, and the clutch was messed up. I tore it all apart, and I've been painting all the pieces as I complete them. And I'm going to eventually get this whole thing painted after I reassemble it. So I was thinking I'm about ready to throw the engine and the radiator and the clutch and everything all back into this thing. And those are all painted up really nice and look great. So I kind of don't want to toss them into this scudgy, nasty engine bay. What I want to do is get this thing all cleaned up. And, you know, now while everything's apart, you can get to all the hard to reach places. So it's a perfect time to get it uh, steam jennied, steam clean, all the old grease and grime off of this thing. The paint and we'll get the, uh, the area that we're not going to be able to get to again after the engine's back in. We'll get that stuff all cleaned up, ready for paint. So uh, I'm not going to wash it off in the shop, and obviously she can't drive out of here under her own power. So we'll uh, hook the old bulldozer on there and drag it out. that's been on my list since I bought this bulldozer was to redo this winch line because this is all just some sort of redneck contraption. That's not really proper rigging.
using it, I finally grabbed one. is that everyone was right. I should have got one of these a long time ago.
Well, this cab is miserable to try to get because there's just paint coming off in sheets. And I mean, there's a ton of debris coming down out of it. And no matter what you do, it's just spraying all over every other surface. So it's like you got to just keep going over the whole thing 20 times. And then uh, it's a mess. It is just a complete mess. The ceiling in here, I did not realize, is like a textured, it's almost look like, it's almost like a rhino liner. Um, I guess they did that to try to make the noise, or reduce the noise in the cab here. And, uh, yeah, so it doesn't much matter. Some of these paint flakes, you know, I'm going to leave some of them, I'm not worried about it all coming off. That should take paint pretty good. I still got to get this side over here. But basically at this stage I got the ceiling mostly done and I'm just going to start working the sides down now trying to flush everything out.
and I'm glad that's over with. Do I, do I have anything on my face? Because I kind of feel like I got a lot of stuff on my face. Anyway, I think old Christine probably liked her day at the spa, huh? Looks a lot better for it. Got a lot of that crappy paint off of there. All the mildew and mold and moss, uh, not moss, uh, algae that was growing on it. Got that all blown off. Looks a lot better. I thought this was kind of cool. You can see there used to be some sort of company sticker here or something. But, uh, you know, no telling what it used to say. But I think the old girl turned out nice. That means that we're about ready to get this thing stripped down for a paint job. Take all the wheels and tires off, get it uh, sitting up on some blocks. I'm going to pull all the glass out of it because all the trim for the, the glass is all falling apart anyways. Like this here. I don't know what you call this stuff. Window channel trim or something, but it's all falling apart. And uh, I don't want to break any of that glass or get overspray all over it. So we'll just go ahead and pull it all out, paint it, and then when I put it back in, I'll use new trim. Let me know down in the comments which part of that you like the best. I think uh, cleaning the roof off really, whew, that was a nice, satisfying zip across there. I'm not one of those, you know, people that's into that super satisfying stuff, but stuff like that does get me once in a while. But anyways, guys, I think that about wraps this mess up. I'm going to let Christine sit here and drip dry overnight. And uh, come tomorrow morning, I'll get back to working on some other odds and ends on her. But anyway, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. And uh, if you haven't already, you're going to want to subscribe so you can see this baby all shined up and uh, cruising down my driveway, grading things out. But as always, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Later.